So, we can be enslaved to society as well. And we see this even in our Asian culture. Maybe not you guys because you're the pious type, mashallah, tabarakallah. But let's, let's be honest, in many types of our family, if you go to a wedding, what do you see? You see people who have been poor all their life, spend money, thousands and thousands and thousands on wedding dresses and gold and you know, a thousand people are there and half of them they don't even know. Yeah, they're not even related. They somehow, you know, used to comb one of their pet rabbit's hair or something. You know, that's how distant they are, yeah? And then they're there, and it's all about show and how much gold you had and where are you going to go and the mahar and, and all of this stuff. And you know, God forbid one auntie wearing the same wedding outfit she wore last year. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. It would be day of judgment scenario, yeah? You can't be seeing her with the same shoes. I ain't wearing the same shoes, yeah? Do you see the point? It's all about status and what you look like. And this is a social norm in our own communities. We've adopted a Bollywood Hinduistic kind of culture. And we've, we've made nikah so hard. Wallahi, we've made zina easy, nikah hard. Wallahi, I know, I see youth in students, this, they find it so hard. We've made zina, fornication easy and marriage difficult. And also we have other issues, isn't it, in our community concerning the social norm. Education. He has to be a doctor. If he's not that clever, an engineer. If he's not that clever, a lawyer. If he's not that clever, Mufti Saab. Isn't it? Like the deen comes like on the bottom of the list. And if you want to marry someone, even I've seen this with practicing sisters, niqab, gloves, shoes, nets, the works, yeah, everything's covered, right? And they will be like, oh, I want him to be a doctor. And then the deen is like fourth. What's wrong with these people? We've been socialized, isn't it? We've got, there's still this kind of, this caste Hindu system kind of culture and it's permeated even amongst pious people. Wallahi, there's a hadith. To the best of my knowledge, and I can be corrected obviously. In Tirmidhi, with the Prophet wasallam, I'm paraphrasing. He said, if someone comes to your daughter with good morals and you reject him, there'll be fitna and fasad in the world. There'll be fasad. There'll be facade. And then they said, what if he doesn't have any money? Listen, what if he doesn't have any money? And do you know how he replied? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, if someone comes to your daughter with good morals, there will be facade. And then he repeated it again. What is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indicating here? That this is the most important thing. Not the money. Money comes and goes, Ikhwan. But yet we have that social norm in our culture that if he's not of a high status, it's it's terrible.